All right, we're going to go ahead and get started on this next module. Um, this is going to be more focused on the logistics of team selection and the schedule um, of the actual PFMA and, and SQRA sessions. So coming out of this um, module, you should be able to describe the makeup of a successful risk assessment team. Um, you'll be able to identify the skills needed for um, those key risk assessment roles. Um, and you'll be able to kind of talk to the difference in the roles and responsibilities between USACE and FERC and the similarities. Um, and then uh, the typical schedule for the PFMA and, and SQRA processes, um, kind of walking through that. So we're going to approach this a little bit differently to mix it up a little bit. Um, we're going to use an e-learning um, method. So um, this is kind of what the, the first kind of intro page looks like. Um, there's a couple ways you can access it um, in your workbooks either on the inside of the cover page, on the, the front of the cover page, there's, you'll see the website for um, the training, the RMC training site. So go to that link, and on the left under the fundamental training courses, you'll find um, the link for this course 102, DLS 102. Go to the PDF version of the workbook, and there'll be a link on page 15 of the PDF. You can also access it by just scanning this QR code if you want to do that with your phone. Um, and that, that works really well also. Um, so you'll just start the course and then it'll prompt you through the different activities and questions um, as you go. Uh, but don't hesitate to raise your hand if you have any questions, if you're having any technical difficulties. We'll be here kind of walking around um, to help with that. So we, we have about 20 minutes to go through the e-learning module. What, um, what are some key characteristics of being a successful facilitator? Do you guys remember? We can just call them out. Open-minded, definitely important. You wanna foster that um, kind of creative thinking and like Doug was explaining, you know, there's no wrong answer, um, especially when you're in that, that brainstorming phase. You want to be able to, to leverage everybody's voice. So if you have a strong voice in the room, you want to make sure everybody else is, is also contributing. What else for a good facilitator? Okay. That's a, definitely a good one. You're going to have some instances where um, there might be some disagreement and you have to figure out how to navigate that um, diplomatically to where everybody feels like they're, they're being heard. Um, so that's definitely important. Anything else? Awesome, yeah. Yeah, because there's definitely rabbit holes that we can um, easily go down into. Um, so a lot of times you kind of have to steer the group back towards the objective. And it's challenging, you know, you don't want to um, kind of direct the, the flow of, of where the discussion is going, but um, there is that responsibility of just making sure that, that we're still working towards the same objective. Um, so just as important as the facilitator, we have our subject matter experts. They're the ones that are, you know, going to be eliciting what they think um, the system response is for, for these critical failure modes. Um, but I think sometimes the note taker role is kind of an afterthought, but it is also um, super critical. Um, they don't necessarily have to have the same credentials as your facilitator and, and your subject matter experts, but if you don't have somebody really good taking notes throughout the discussion, then you, you really lose a lot of that back and forth and logic of the group and how you got there. And um, 
that's kind of handpicking that person, um, I think is, is the best route and making sure that, that they're gonna stay engaged throughout the whole discussion and, and kind of document all of the, the back and forth. Yes, that's a great question. Um, the note taker is a great way to get that experience and you learn so much by trying to document all of that really, you know, good kind of critical thinking discussion. Um, so that is definitely a way to help build the bench. Um, a, an approach that we use at the core is we have a facilitator and then we have a co-facilitator. So the facilitator kind of mentors that co-facilitator and even, you know, lets them kind of try out being in that role of facilitator. Ultimately, that lead facilitator has to be the one responsible for, um, you know, where the, the group ultimately ends up. But um, hands-on training is the best in terms of getting people up to speed to where they can facilitate on their own. Is that kind of what works for you guys at FERC also? Yeah, exactly. And I think if Nate was here, he would echo the same thing. I mean, both he and I got into this whole thing of risk. Our first jobs were note takers at the Bureau of Reclamation, you know, for risk analyses at that point. So getting in there and getting even just familiar with the jargon, you know, how the subject matter experts work and things like that. The other part of it, of the incentive of a good note taker is they're the one responsible for drafting the initial, you know, portions of the report. So they have a vested interest in trying to capture all those good discussions because eventually that gets circulated to the SMEs and, you know, you want to be able to do a good job capturing all of that and hopefully you're just tweaking things in the, in the review process then, so. Observers, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, we we have observers as well. You know, so maybe you have a number of people, you know, that you want to try to get some experience, and and you've got one note taker. Maybe you rotate them through, or just having ex, extra people. I'll just say, if you're available to to do that, you know, to be able to sit in on a risk analysis or something like that, just to gain that experience. So the question was, um, what is the, the USACE and FERC position on recording the workshop or the discussions? I know I have done that in the past and it has been super helpful to be able to refer back to the discussion, especially, again, if you're the one that's writing the report and trying to you know, synthesize everything down into kind of the key points, I think that's super helpful. As long as everybody's aware that, you know, the discussion is being recorded. Yeah, likewise, we, we have a lot of our consultants, licensees that are, are doing the recording when you're doing Teams or WebEx or something like that, you know, recording that just in case they want to go back and check something. So that, that's helpful. All right, good discussion.